This woman's nephew, his name was Jamie Johnson. Jamie Johnson was fatally shot by a Jacksonville County Sheriff's deputy by the name of Jose Garriga. Jose Garriga was exposed recently as an alleged child predator who essayed someone who was just 17 years old, violated a 17 year old. Well, same sheriff's deputy shot down this man. And the sheriff's deputy is a black man. And if you look at the last name of Jose Garriga, well, you can probably see some evidence as to the reasons why this happened. And here is Garriga appearing in court because he's facing five felony charges that he's an alleged predator that preyed on a child, 17 year old. And the judge denied his attorney's request to have his bond lowered. He will have to pay all that bond. And if you look at some of the charges here, well, you can see why his bond won't be lowered because he's accused of some pretty serious stuff. And his bond is totaled at $375 thousand fifteen dollars so it's quite substantial and it really does expose law enforcement officers in this country because if you couldn't trust this man around children how could you trust him with a badge and a gun and how can you call any action that he takes justified because in any given in any any given random person if you were to go ask them do you think a person who could potentially prey on a child do you think that person could ever be a hero as a law enforcement officer i guarantee you the average american or at least the average person with two neurons to rub together would say no no, we don't allow people like this who are capable of stuff like this to become law enforcement officers. And that's for a reason, because Jamie Johnson and so many others have suffered because the Jacksonville County Sheriff's Office decided to hire a predator, a predator, a child predator, as a law enforcement officer. No, it is not an accident that you keep hiring so many law enforcement officers in Jacksonville County in Florida who turn out to be predators by accident. You're either ignoring all the red flags or, or there are more predators in law enforcement and the predators are hiring other predators to cover up for their own misdeeds. Pick one because I'm telling you, it is not an accident that we keep finding so many law enforcement officers in Florida, but especially Jacksonville, it is not an accident. And if you take a good look at Jose Garriga and his last name, do you understand that a lot of black folks feel like they, are, they ain't they ain't black? And I wanna let you know, if you look at Jacksonville County in, in Florida, right? Do you not think they would hire those types of officers? Do you not think they would say, hey, 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 we're not racist. We hired a black officer and they hired the most anti-black officer they could possibly find. And, and I'm going to show some evidence of this. The, the disconnection that 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 this guy has from the black community. But the fact that so many officers like like, for example, in the Tyree Nichols case or this case or so many other cases where you have officers who have black skin. But they are black and black in 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 freaking appearance only. It's 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 almost like a law enforcement version of blackface. Seriously, they they want to appear like they are so progressive. We are hiring black officers. We are diverse. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. That's like saying, that's like saying that you're being diverse by hiring zombies. Okay, zombies who who like to turn people into dinner. Sure. Yeah, you're being diverse. You're hiring zombies, a whole different type of human. But that doesn't necessarily mean that don't that don't mean that's a good thing. It just means you got a body there. What's going on up here? See, see, notice how they don't hire, you know, a Malcolm X. Strange how you don't hire people who are double agents for the Black Panther Party. You only seem, seem to hire black people who are double agents for the for the freaking the freaking Proud Boys and these freaking white supremacist groups. You only see seem, seem to hire white officers who happen to join these far right supremacist groups. Uh, again, who they are hiring and who we are catching among their ranks that says a lot. And so, shortly after, Jamie Johnson. And the whole shooting of Jamie Johnson perpetrated by Gariga was conducted. There was a group chat. 
and Jacksonville County Sheriff's deputies and members of the Jacksonville County Sheriff's Office were all participating in this group chat and they were saying some of the most racist, offensive, and ridiculous stuff, all because people were upset that Jamie Johnson lost his life to what we know now, a potentially predator police officer or sheriff's deputy, I should say. So the family and activists in the local community and even the black community across the country, we were outraged. And let me show you the part that Yosu or Jose Garriga played in this whole scandal. And so you had these white officers who were talking about Jamie Johnson and how he was being honored by the National Football League. And Jamie Johnson was a Florida A&M University student who was fatally shot by Garriga during a 2019 traffic stop. And Garriga, he asked a question during that group chat. He says, why are they recognizing that clown? The man who's, whose life he took, he is now insulting when the man can't even defend himself. That shows you the level of depravity that we're dealing with here. And that whole group chat was being looked at because the posts in there were all demeaning towards black folks, people who weren't white in general, and to the LGBTQ plus community. So they didn't care for folks who weren't straight and white, just so you know. And, and Gariga, being a black man himself, he thought that he would just fit right in. Hmm? I told you, they don't hire Malcolm X's. They don't hire Fred Hampton's. They hire J uh, Jose Gariga's. That's who they hire. And I, I want to give one quote from Gariga. He says, goes to show no matter how wrong they are, they still will be recognized just because they are black. And then that's, that's what he texted. And then he gave an okay emoji. Now, the far right will tell you the okay emoji, that, that don't mean nothing. I want you to understand something. The leader of the Proud Boys was a black man. Uh, he, he calls himself white. But uh, Enrique Tarrio, if you look at him, that's a black man, okay? You look at Stephen Rhodes, uh, he's the leader of the Proud Boys. His mother is Hispanic. You look at the, a lot of the police gangs, the, the deputy gangs in California and abroad, a lot of them ain't white no more. A lot of them have a lot of Hispanic officers. So understand something, a lot of the people of color that they're hiring are some of the most anti-black people you could imagine, and that's on purpose. And then, like I said in the other video that I did about this story here, a black officer replies in the actual group chat and says, hey, while the shooting of Jamie Johnson was justified, and I don't think it's justified, this black officer is saying, hey, you guys are saying a whole bunch of racist stuff, all right? The fact that a black officer had to stop them tells you the reason why they hired, all right, Jose Garriga. And the reason why this officer, right, left the unit. They didn't, they didn't even stick around, okay? Because that's not the kind of officer they want in this unit. That is not the kind of, kind of deputy they want with the Jacksonville County Sheriff's Department, all right? I just want you to understand that. And someone earlier says, hey, you know, Jose Garriga, he sounds like the I know black type. And I'm going to tell you, that sentiment, that is real. There are some folks out there who have such a disconnection from the black community, they will victimize their own folks and won't even think twice about it. All right? So this whole story is a lesson in the old saying, not all skin folks are kin folks. All right? It's a real shame. We had to find out this man's a predator before he actually faces some kind of justice. And given the slaps on the wrist and the leniency law enforcement officers get in courts i wouldn't be surprised if he got a slap on the wrist even though he's probably a predator mm. rest in peace jamie johnson